Welcome back to Grizz Vision. My name is Neil Rule here with Coach Campy after a, a tough road loss at Wright State. And Camp, you look at this basketball game, you guys came in. Overtime game last night, back-to-back -back nights here tonight, and uh, it was a big ask. Yeah. We're going to have to do that in the league tournament if we're going to get to the championship game. You're going to have to play Monday, Tuesday. And uh, so it's, it was good for us to, you know, we did it in November when we played in the tournament in Florida, and now we've done it here in February, and hopefully we're good enough that we can get to do it again in March. You know, Kemp, you, you look at this basketball game, they're really a back and forth affair. You guys uh, had a slim lead at the half, and inside of four minutes there, a couple of possessions there, you guys were you guys turned the basketball over and Wright State kind of pulled away from there. Yeah, and you just can't do that if you're going to win. You, we missed some free throws too, and you know, we're one of the best free throw shooting team. I think we're fourth or fifth in the country coming into today. And, uh, and we missed some free throws, and, and you know, I, another stat that I just got uh, given to me a few minutes ago is our last 17 possessions of the game, we didn't make a basket. All our points were free throws. Um, the ball just didn't go in for us in the last, you know, 17 possessions. And I, I you know, I, I really don't, I, I mean, I don't know why, but it was the turnovers that got us. And there was a huge play in the game, uh, Neil. We, we made our run with about 10 or so to go. We got up to a seven point lead and on a made basket by us, we did not sprint back on defense and Tanner Holden leaked out. They got the ball over the top of us and got an and one. They hadn't scored in four possessions. We were, they were frustrated, they were missing shots and we were scoring every possession. In a situation like that, that changes the game. If they've got to come down and they've got somebody on their team's got to make a play to score there and maybe we get another stop and then we go up nine and 11 and that's how you have a run. That killed us. And I'm not gonna point a finger at who it was. Uh, we did discuss that at, at length <laughs> in the locker room, but that was the play of the game to me. And then with the game on the line, uh, you know, I think it was even or we're up two or down. I don't remember exactly right now, but you know, we threw a lob that got stolen and then the next play we tried to make some great bounce pass in between somebody and hit their legs and, and they get a run out and score and all of a sudden you're down six. Um, and then we couldn't make a shot. So it, it's, it's disappointing, but honestly, after what happened yesterday, um, I thought we really bounced back and played a heck of a game. Uh, we had a chance to win the game, we just didn't win it. Um, We'll get the chance to play both the team last night and, and tonight in our gym in a week. So, you know, we'll, we'll see how we learned from it uh, in the middle of this tough road trip. Eight out of nine on the road, which it's pretty hard to have happen to you. But it's the cards that were dealt to us, so we've got two left. we got to find a way to go down the road this week and win those two games. Then we come home to five home games, and let's just see what happens. All right, Camp, as always, appreciate the time. Greg Campy Radio Show Monday night, too, at RJ's Pub as well. So look is, forward to seeing everybody out there. Uh, that will be, yes, that will be. That's the one that we have to go at 6 at, right? I got my dates mixed up. No, this one this one will be at 7. The Valentine's Day one will be at 6. Oh, uh, okay. So you can get your Valentine's Day date over uh, at RJ's. And, so forget uh, I said that. Yeah. 7 o'clock. <laughs> See you then, Camp. Thanks. Okay.